Hi, you guys. Um, this video, um, first of all, let me say, I know why I've been going through spiritual attacks now. God revealed it to me, and I'm going to work on it with the Lord. I am very lazy. I have been a sluggard, and I have not been using the gifts that God gave me to minister to those outside of my apartment like I should be. Instead of being been very lazy and been staying at home and doing nothing. And, um, yeah, so I got to stop being a sluggard because that's opening me up for um, demonic attacks. God didn't, you know, give me all these gifts and give me a life to serve him just to stay at home and sleep and not even clean my house and or take care of my husband good. So I got to fix these things. I don't know God will help me, so I gotta, I gotta do this, though, and not be lazy, but it's okay, I have, like, I can go to the park and teach kids, and there's a board in care I can go to and tell them about God, and there's just different things that God has put in my heart that I, I know he's made the, the opportunities around me, and I actually have to harness these, actually just not be lazy and go out of my door and do them, but, um, I repented and I'm going to change my behavior. But um tonight I was on Facebook and somebody posted something. It was this guy using scriptures and he was laughing and he was doing like using the scriptures in a funny way, in a carnal way, like giving you a different idea of what they mean like mocking God. He was mocking God. And and I could spiritually discern this and see that it was wrong. And there's a girl on Facebook who I was friends with. And I know that she probably genuinely loves the Lord and she doesn't realize what she was doing. Satan will use humor and 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 she doesn't she didn't realize what she was doing by posting that. I don't think she could spiritually discern it because I don't believe that she's been reading her Bible and just like the Lord revealed some tough stuff to me and, and I started responding to the comment on Facebook and um, when I started responding the Lord started just giving me a lot of good things to write and scriptures to post and I knew this was coming from the Holy Spirit so I wanted to share with you guys what he revealed to me and um, so this is what I wrote. Um, I know you thought this was funny, but it's not. It's mocking the scriptures. Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. I believe you. And I said. Because I, I didn't want her to get offended. I said I believe you love God. And we're not intending to mock God. Sometimes the devil tricks us with humor. He does. He, I can see this in my husband. He is so deceived in this way. But oh man I'm sorry. I'm sorry Lord. Oh my gosh I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have said that. But um. Yeah, so some people are deceived with uh, humor. The more... Hang on, sorry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. The more you... Yeah, okay. The more you read the Bible to get to know and pray, the stronger your spiritual discernment will be. God tells us in the scriptures. Yeah, so you have to draw close to God and draw... Okay, well, okay. I'm jumping the gun here. Well, that's a bad saying, okay. James 4 through 8. Um, I mean, chapter 4, verses 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So God won't come close to you, and I wrote this. So God won't come to close to you without you first putting forth the effort to, go, 
to draw closer to him. This is applying to anybody who is reading this. If you don't know God that well, you, you need to understand you got to draw close to God. We're in a spiritual war. There's demons around you. There is a fight for your soul. If you do not draw close to God, he will not draw close to you. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. We have free will. We have to pick up our Bible so we can get better spiritual discernment so we can know what sin is. And we have to actually follow God's commandments. If you're not following God's commandments, if you're not, if you, if you, how do you know you're sinning if not, if you're not reading the Bible? Okay, let's just continue. Um, this is really good. Okay. Cutting out sin in your life is a requirement for being Christian. How do you know you're sinning against the Lord if you don't read your Bible? You need to read the Bible and draw close to God. Satan came to kill, steal, and destroy. Most of my life, I said I loved God, but I never knew him because I never read the Bible. I ended up being so deceived by Satan that I took my daughter and myself to a Buddha temple where they invited me up for a kundalini blessing. Blessing. Not... It was not a blessing. It was a curse. They put demons in me, and I believe God protected my daughter. They did witchcraft on us. Mm, I didn't know this. They, Satan's a liar, and his little worker, his little children are liars, too. My health was and life have not been the same since. I had to go through a lot of pain from the demons put inside my body it has drawn me closer to jesus though praise god god uses all things together for the good of those that love him the devil can uh you know whatever the devil god says in the scriptures whatever the devil uses against you i will use for you with the sa for the saving of many lives and god has you know i went through hell with that and i i learned I was blinded i was blinded in my mind i always talked about god but i never knew god and I certainly didn't realize that Buddhas uh, were working with the devil. I didn't even realize who the devil was or that the devil was real. I thought he was just a figment of people's imaginations. <laughs> I did not know. Anyways, I never knew how I could actually have a real father-daughter relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. The God of the universe. You can actually have a relationship with Jesus. Through reading the scriptures and prayer. You draw closer to God spiritually. And um, when you cut out sin. I don't know. You just God starts to speak to your spirit. When you really seek him. He says seek and knock. And he will answer. And he, he does. He actually does speak to us in our spirit. But you have to cut out sin from your life. And you have to really... Get in prayer, read your Bible, and draw close to him. And he will draw close to you. You see, the attack is against your mind. Because if you get a thought in your head, you can act on it, right? It's all about the mind. It's all about what you believe. That's why it's so important what you believe. Now, if you're not reading your Bible, and you're not drawing close to God, like... You're going to be deceived by Satan. You are. That's what the, like, secular music, the people who watch popular music videos and stuff, what do you think? They're, they're chanting demonic lyrics, and they have demons prayed over these musics that they put out. And the things that they're teaching you in the songs are, it's brainwashing people to do really bad things. You see, the attack is against the mind. Satan blinds our minds. And there's a scripture about that. Um, the minds of the people have been blinded by the prince of the power of the air, lest the glorious light of the gospel have shine unto them. Okay, so. Hang on, sorry. I know you guys, this is like a shaky video, but. Okay. He gets us to focus on money, materials, vanity, and other carnal things instead of being spiritual. The flesh does not satisfy long term. It, it's a thrill for a moment. James 1, 14 through 15. But every man is tempted when he is drawn out of out away of his own lust and enticed. 
Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. How? Satan entices us and entices us with, okay, and then, wait, hang on. I got this feeling right now. Okay, some of you might be saying, well, death, it doesn't say hell. It says death. Well, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever, only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. What is eternal life? Eternal life is heaven. So eternal death is hell. Okay. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind, mind about fleshly things, is enmity with God. For it is subject, not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. You have to be born again, God tells us in the scriptures. That means to be spiritually born again. You have to be spiritually minded and not carnally minded. So um, a lot of people are deceived by Satan and they're carnally minded. And you have to be spiritually minded. You have to have your mind renewed by the holy scriptures, which is the truth. And everything else is a lie. And um, I hope you guys got something from this video. If you did, please, please like, like, just give me a thumbs up and just some encouragement. You know what? I don't need encouragement. I know this is good. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Bye, you guys. Have a great night.